Hello, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can create a filter inside drop down boxes or spinners. In other words, we can create some dynamic lists. So first of all, let me give you an example so you can see what I'm trying to say. Let me open Tasker and here inside Tasker I have one action, show scene and we use the scene array test display dialog dim behind. So let's play that action, play and we see here a new scene and we see here a text exit button text text and then we see two drop down boxes first this one and a second this one so in each drop down box will show some information for example when I click on this one you will see here numbers colors and forms when I click on the second drop down box you won't see anything it's empty so now when I go to the first list and I choose for example for let me click on that you will see here in the second list rectangle triangle and square okay let's choose another one for example numbers and you will see here in the second list only numbers one two three four five let's choose for example now colors and you will see here several colors red yellow green white black and then depending on what you click right here it will do something for example let me click on green and it will show me here a green rectangle so that's what we are creating today it's not that difficult so let's close this scene and let's go back to our scenes and let's edit that so here we have our two drop down boxes and we see here numbers let's click on that and we see here of course a spinner for people who doesn't know how to create a spinner it's quite easy click on plus scroll down and you will see here spinner okay now spinner one let's open that you will see here in source it's very important you have to choose variable array and we use array list variable array list that's an array okay let's go back now for the second list let me open that it's also a spinner of course we use also a variable array and the variable is here different here it's array list new it's very important so let's go back so remember this is array list and this is array list new so we're gonna use that also in our tasks so let's close our scene right now and let's go to tasks and you will see here I created several tasks the last one was to open our scene so what's important for us is the first four tasks so we see here array list in array list we have created an array and it's easy to create an array for example here array list variable set array list to numbers colors and forms without any space and then we're gonna do a variable split we're gonna use array list and splitter comma that will give us the array so the first time that you want to use that scene you have to execute the first list or this task then for the other task you see here array numbers let me open that you will see here another array and we use here array list new to one two three four five and we do also a splitter with splitter comma so this is our second list so array list new we do the same for the other task as well for forms array list new to rectangle triangle square array list new splitter comma and we do the same for our colors so as you see it's quite easy to create an array just like that so i hope you understand it so we have three tasks right here for creating our second list and this one for our our first list so depending on what we are choosing right here we are gonna execute one of those okay let's open our scene right now array test okay so let's open the first list and as I told you before the variable array array list now the important stuff is inside item select let me open that in this case we can use three actions I created here more I will tell you later about that so the first thing is we're gonna do perform tasks. 
So we do array colors if the tab label, the variable tab label matches colors. So when I tap one item on the list, variable tab label will be active. It's an inside tasker variable. So if tab label is the same as colors, we're gonna perform array colors. If tab label matches numbers, we're gonna use this task. If tab label matches forms, we're gonna use this one. I hope you understand it. So as you know, in array list, we have three items, colors, numbers, and form. And depending on what we are tapping, we're gonna do some tasks. Okay. And then in array two, the second spinner, we use here array list new. And on item select, you can do whatever you want. For example, I created here one action. If tap label is green, we're gonna do an element back color. And I set that element in green, for example, as you remember, in the demo of the green square so you can do whatever you want also here in the first spinner item select you saw here other things as well so in this case we're gonna perform some tasks but if you don't want to use perform tasks you can also work with if else statements so for example if variable tab label matches forms we're gonna do a variable set array list new to rectangle triangle square and we're gonna split it and then we do an and if so in other words those actions are the same that we have created also in our task separately so for example here this one is the same as perform task array forms so you can work with if else statements if you don't want to work with perform task it's up to you so let me close that scene again and let's go back to task tasks and open array let's execute this one okay and we see here our scene so for example when i choose here colors you will see here also the colors also when i close the scene for example and when i go back and i choose here the tab vars i can see also the items inside the arrays so array list is numbers colors forms array list one is numbers two is colors three is forms and we see here also the same for the new list or the second list here one two three uh, four and uh, five is red yellow green white and black so as you see here in this tab you can check everything if everything is correct so i hope you can create your own drop down boxes and create some filters or dynamic lists in the future maybe you can use it in some task as well and if you like this video give it a thumbs up on youtube if you have any questions or comments you can leave that on my google plus community and see you next time bye